In this video, the advantages of using fourth order modified hold for discrete time PD controllers are presented using a self balancing motorbike robot. Digital PD controllers are very popular among both position and force controlled robots. Most of these controllers use zero order hold, which keeps the control force constant during the neck sampling time. Higher order holds consider a longer history of the behavior of the system to generate a varying control force during each time step, when we have no real-time information from the states of the system. Fourth order modified hold offers this structure to generate the control force, which at first look resembles a normal fourth order hold. The difference lies in the new coefficients for the time-dependent terms, which guarantee to have the same P and D gains for each term at its corresponding derivative level. The results appear in a wider stability chart where the maximum allowable proportional gain has an 80% increase, which effectively increases the maximum achievable accuracy. More interestingly, the most robust zone of the stability domain is grown and shifted to the right side, which allows to have a 10% increase in robustness and at the same time less than one-fifth of steady state error. Now let's check the results experimentally on a self-balancing motorbike robot. In case of using zero-order hold, the best robustness is achieved at this point of a stability chart. Tuning the controller to this point, we observe the response of the system to a unique impulse. The settling time is measured around 1 second. If we increase the proportional gain furthermore, we reach the border of the stability domain, where we experience vibrations in the system. Now to compare the results, we switch to the fourth order modified hold and redo the experiment. As we were expecting, the settling time is improved around 10%. And this is done at more than 5 times bigger proportional gain, which means the same better accuracy.